Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine the one sample sign test using SPSS. Note that most often a one sample Wilcoxon test is actually preferred. So if you're interested in that one, check out my video on the one sample Wilcoxon test. Um, as an example, I'll be using the extra uh, variable here, which is just some uh, randomized uh, data. Well, not really random, but uh, some fake data. And the median here is actually 4, and the one sample sign test can actually test if uh, the median is uh, different from an hypothesized median. So let's begin with that. I would have hypothesized that the median in this group would have been 10. Now, to do this, unfortunately, SPSS does not have a specific um, option to perform the one sample sign test, so we need to trick it into doing so. So we need to recode this extra variable, the one we want to perform the one sample sign test on, into a new variable that has two groups, those that are less than the hypothesized median and those that are above it. So I go for transform and then recode into different variable. And it's important to go for different variable because the same variable would overwrite your current uh, one and you don't want that. So I move extra to my variable of interest to the right. I give a new name for this one, so extra recoded, for example. If you want, you can also give it a label. Click on change, and then on old and new values. Now, first of all, system or missing should remain system or missing. And then my lowest through. So I have one to hypothesize that the median is 10, so I'll go for not 10, but actually one value lower than that, because we should not include the median itself. Then we click on uh, that that's going to be a new group 1. And for everything above it, I can use the range value through highest, so one above the median, so 10, uh, 11 in this case, and that's going to be 2. And then we can simply click on continue, or if you want to be absolutely sure anything else should also be system missing and continue and OK. Now in my output uh, nothing actually much changed. This was some old output. Let me delete that straight away. But it's in my data that actually something has changed. As you can see it actually recoded all of them into two groups. Anything below 10 is now in group 1. Anything above Above 10 is above, uh, uh, is now uh, 2. And the missing values are still missing, and also anything that was equal to the hypothesized median is now gone. Now we can perform a so called binomial test, and that's one that SPSS does have under Analyze, Non Parametric Test, and then you can either go for one sample or for legacy dialogues and then binomial. I'll first show you this one. Uh, I click on the new variable, the one I just coded. Make sure at test proportion it says 0 0.5 and click on OK. And here we can see that it's 0 0.064. So usually the threshold is set at 0 0.05, so this is above that. So we could hypothesize that the median in the population um, might not be significantly different from 10. But we'll never know that for sure. We simply say, well, well, because we only have a few data points. So at the moment, there's insufficient data to reject that it is significantly different. Uh, I can also show you how to perform it with the other option, the one sample. And then go for fields and move every test field back to the left. It's a bit annoying that SPSS does that. Again, select the new one, move it to the right, click on settings, customize test, compare observed binary probabilities to hypothesized. <coughs> Sorry about that. Options, make sure it says 0 0.5, click on OK, run, and in your output you get, again, the same result. So note, by the way, that if I would have done this all with an hypothesized median of 4, 
uh, you can verify that the one sign test will then say that it's not significantly different, by far not, but a one sample will coxin test will say it's significantly different. Because if you look closely, the values that are actually below 4 are pretty much very close to that 4, while everything above it uh, goes pretty much uh, uh, a lot higher up. So one sample will coxin test does not just look if it's to the left or right, but also a little bit about how far it's to the left or right. Um, okay, so that was it. That's how you can perform a one sample sign test with SPSS. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. More information is available on my website in the description below. Please check that one out. Uh, it's all for free there, so um, no harm in testing it. Okay, again, thanks for watching and goodbye.